youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Yo, it's Tim Westwood TV, up at Capital Extra. Zai Zai, man. Come on, what's good? Nice what's to link good, you, man. Good, I appreciate nice you coming you. through the station. Thank you for having Obviously, me. Obviously, you know, Capital Extra play, playlist your records heavy, family. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it a lot, man. I appreciate it a lot. So. Must sound good, man. Mm, it's very good. It's very good. Every time I hear it on the radio, so when it comes on, I just get gassed every time. And it's, yeah, well, yeah, it's man. It's a great feeling. It's definitely uh, part of the powerful movement happening now, family. Mm -hmm. And uh, we salute you, man. Thank you. Thank I mean, fine girl, crazy. I mean, that was. I mean, you'd been making music before that, mm -hmm. but like that one really just took it to the next. Elevated, elevated completely, and completely changed my life as well. So yeah, yet again, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, eighteen million video views. Mm -hmm. Videos crazy. Absolutely mental. A hot, hot video was that actually, that actually your boo in the video it looked like it oh no that wasn't my boo that wasn't my boo that was like a stunt double okay. didn't have my boo in the video trying to keep her on a low star okay but but when you say a stunt double who she <laughs> the stunt <laughs> double she's <laughs> playing my girl in it because she looks quite similar she she's looked, quite similar so did you pick the cast oh yeah i did i did i did yeah i i, I could actually tell <laughs> watching the video yeah, yeah 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 i picked i picked it yeah oh very mm -hmm. calm man all right so like a heartfelt video then literally mm -hmm. yeah. that was like the key in my songs back in the day like because i didn't really have much to talk about i had my girl so she would be mainly most of my topics so seriously yeah so done uh mm -hmm. and how long you've been with your girl then been with her for like three years now okay mm -hmm. okay yeah, sounds yeah. like you are well and truly booed up let, let, gonna do the right thing yeah yeah of course of course i'm the most loyal the guy out here completely 100 percent do the right thing fam yeah, yeah, we yeah. salute Come you on. man <laughs> <laughs> you, you, guys like you are few and far between, yeah, man. No guys like me. So yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, congratulations on all the success, success. I mean, Fine Girl really put you on the map as like the artist that you are, man. Mm -hmm. 100%, 100%. How did it change your life? How did it change my life? I took my mum out of debt. I got my own flat. I got a dog now. And it's just like made me get to do a lot of the things that I never really imagined I'd be doing. So when it went off like it did, I proper like it was overwhelming. But because I'm quite a calm and collective guy, it was just like more of a, I take it in less excited, excited. So I just like go with the flow and just act like it's all normal. But inside I'm going crazy. Like, Serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it enabled you what, to get out of debt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, me and my mum and my siblings, like she was in a lot of debt, like I had to pay loads of bills, but she really couldn't really afford to pay them. And luckily I got a deal. And things changed. Okay, so did you get the deal off Fine Girl? Oh, uh, was it Fine Girl? It was like, there was a few other songs, but Fine Girl was their main focus. Yeah, so, yeah. so once you do, had the, like the hit ringing off, mm -hmm. it was easy to get mm -hmm. that. Because it was out for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And even though I really got sick of it, like by the end of the year, they pushed it even more, because obviously not everybody's heard Fine Girl, but most people have definitely heard it from now because they proper pushed it. So it helped it times 10 when I got the deal, yeah. So it sorted out your family debt, mm -hmm. which is very powerful. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's uh, tears of joy, Literally. you know what I mean? Legal tears money as well, legal money as well. Yeah, yeah, so d did the right thing for for Mumsy, you know what I mean, which is the most important thing of mm -hmm. all. Of and then what else it enabled you to what? Move uh, move out as well, closer to actual work, to actually be able to work, because in the house there's loads of siblings running around, my mum, everybody's shouting my name all the time. It wasn't really an easy place to focus, so it, was, it enabled me to get my own place closer to the studio, so mm -hmm. I wasn't late to studio sessions and stuff. Mm. So that helped a lot. Yeah, and sometimes, some, like sometimes I go around people's houses and they're just like loud. <laughs> <It's> just loud. <laughs> completely, completely. Everyone is just shouting at each other for All some the reason. Time. Like they're standing next to each from other, just reason, shouting. Literally. Or in the next room, just shouting. <laughs> Everyone's just shouting. It's like, <laughs> or you'd be on the phone. It's like mm -hmm. to shorty and be like, "Why is your house so loud?" Yeah. It's like I live with animals, bare people in my house. Yeah. So yeah, I had to get out of there. But so, how many brothers and sisters you got? I've got one little brother, one mm. little sister, one big sister. And that's it, so I'll basically got three siblings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so you removed Croydon over to West London. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Miss Croydon? I miss Croydon, yeah, I miss Croydon a lot. I miss Croydon a lot. Do you still, but I go back from time to time anyway to see my old Oh, yeah, it's not like you've, you, nah, you know... not completely like now. Nah, still, still rep the ends. Mm, literally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Croydon's a great place. It's a great place. That's where most of the great people, artists, I've came from, to be honest. Like, a lot of other, plenty more artists, but they haven't been really seen that much yet, but... There's a lot of upcoming artists that yeah. kill this. And shout the Thornton Heath next door as well. Exactly, shout out Thornton Heath. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes a bit, a bit of beef back and forth between the two, man, but mm -hmm. that needs to calm. Mm -hmm. Completely. Because it's, it's about getting money, man. It's getting money now. It's all about getting money. Yeah. And uh, we salute you for that, man. 
Uh, then Senzi, which shows uh, another great record mm -hmm. uh, and a great video as well, man. Great video. The video was wavy. I wasn't expecting it, but when they told me the treatment, I was like, yes, I'm definitely working with this. So I was excited to get the video done done as well. Mm. And were they you, were you, was that a stunt double or were they your high kicks? Uh, no, those were my high kicks. Yeah. Are you those were my high kicks, yeah. Serious? Yeah, I used to be able to cry when I was younger. Oh, for real? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because there's no mean feet, man. No, 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 no. Because you can definitely pull something. 100%, like, 100%. Like, no, no one wants to with me, man. I look like a calm guy, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you've got some, like, skills in that. Literally, literally. I'm very, very fast, very flexible. Can't touch me, literally. We salute you, man. Get into cage fighting. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, the remix is fine, girl. Just didn't stop, man. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Afro B, man, and yeah, YC. Yeah. Obviously, gang, gang, shout out them, man. And, and Belly Squad did mm -hmm. their thing on it as well, man. They did their thing as well. So yeah, that that, that definitely felt good. Mm -hmm. Now you um, that uh, Dolce and Cabana, Dolce man. Cabana, yeah, you yeah. Never did a video. Never. Now why was that? A good record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, hundred percent, hundred percent. Why no vid? I couldn't afford it. Obviously, I didn't have no bread. <laughs> I so didn't have no was money. this was a joint bef before the deal? Yeah, then? yeah completely. Mm -hmm. Like I was making bangers way before I got signed. And like that was like my three main songs, four main songs I would say from before the deal was this song called Hello. Yes. Mingle. Don't yeah, Mingle goodbye. was like an early joint. Yeah, Fine Girl, yeah, Fine Girl and Hello, yeah. So those four, those were my big songs back in the day. Mm. Like, cause even them times there, because I wasn't going to college, I was thinking, how can I get bread? And obviously, I did like a warehouse job for literally two days. That stuff was tiring. I couldn't do it. But yeah, it got me enough money to like go to Birmingham, go to different places to perform because people was actually booking me and stuff. Mm. And I was getting quite good money from it. And so from there, life went on. Life got hit me here now. And those early days, mm -hmm. like, like obviously you had uni support. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot, a lot. Like unis were paying attention and mm -hmm. like booking you and getting you to take, go, go, go places, which was blessed. Mm -hmm. Um, what studio were you using those early days? Studio, this studio called High Grade. I remember, but I forgot the guy's name. I was just some local. Yeah, like back in them days, like Young Fume, he was going there. Section Boys, like it was their studio. Oh right, was okay. To. So like, um, because my neighbour, obviously, shout out Mems mm -hmm. over there. Shout out Mems. He knows quite a lot of. He knew quite a lot of rappers in the end. So he got me a studio session at that place. So that was the first studio I ever went to. And th those studio sessions, I bet, like every minute counted. Literally, like you Literally, did not yes, waste like twenty pound per hour. So I yeah. needed to make sure. Didn't waste no time. Didn't waste no time. None of this chilling, hanging out. Not at all, not at all. Like, homeboys up in the studio. Mm, none of that. Just of that. like, if, if you live there, like, it's your front room. Literally. No, man, handle your business, man. 100%. Well, would, congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what was happening with you in college then at that time? College. College. These times I was doing carpentry. Mm. Obviously, I wasn't feeling it like that. This is not a place. Like I was, I was just thinking I'm too much of a talented person to be sitting here cutting wood and building people's houses. Like I was thinking, is this actually going to be my life? So I had to elevate myself in life and just go for something and just not think about it twice. No plan B, just a plan A. And did, did you have any music background or just? Oh uh, no, in primary school I was in the choir, so that's why I started like the whole singing journey. And I remember this teacher, Miss Smith. Shout out Miss Smith if she's out there. She heard me sing one time in the toilet, so she thought you should join the choir. And from there, that's where I thought singing was a bit of a thing, but then it just died out, but then it came back again. Wow. And so when, and did you drop out of college then? Or pause college? I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I, well, I didn't tell him I just dropped out. I just stopped going. To be you just stopped going? <laughs> yeah, I didn't okay. even tell him I left. So really there was no plan B, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like it's either popping or, yeah. I literally put my all in this. If yeah. it wasn't for this, then... I'll be building houses, and that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so I'm blessed. And there wouldn't be houses for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like you should be feeding them. Literally, literally. So Mingle was the first joint? Uh, Mingle was like the fourth joint. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like and then who who was supporting your, like, Hello and those early joints? Supporting? Yeah, who, who, like, because like, they weren't on the radio play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who, who was supporting them, man? I don't know. I was posting on SoundCloud them times. Yeah. So I I don't know. I just posted it one time. And then, like, people just start taking taking notice of it and then shouting it out and playing on their stories. Obviously, people are like, oh, what song's that? And it just started going around amongst friends and then so on and so on, schools, schools, and it just kicked off from there. And, and that's where you're getting the uni bookings from, yeah. Mm -hmm. SoundCloud had a moment, man. Yeah, there was it, definitely it, artists coming out of SoundCloud. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Did you get good numbers on SoundCloud? Yeah, my, like, my first song got, like, 500k. Wow. Yeah, but in them times, hey, that was a quite a lot to me. Like, yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, and SoundCloud did its thing, man. Literally. literally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like that now. 
it, it feels like everyone would just go straight to video now. Yeah, yeah, straight to video, straight to video. Because more time, there's more money to be made in the world now if you know how to be making money from YouTube and posting your content on YouTube like mm. can get you some money as well. So SoundCloud was more just like promote your songs, people play it and that, but YouTube, mm. like, you actually make an income from it. So Yeah, they're powerful, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're hitting like 18 million views plus, uh, we salute you, man. Exactly. Um, and then, when, so you got signed, mm -hmm. and then obviously it's all about to happen now. Mm -hmm. So w w what is the plan? What is the plan? <coughs> the plan is to take over this country, every other country, and just be international everywhere. Because like, obviously I haven't got that many songs out, and obviously not many people know my face, but not being sound, not trying to sound big-headed, but I know my music's good. And if you like it, you like it, and if you don't, you don't, but I don't really care about the people that don't. And more time, I haven't got that many songs out, so... I know I've got a lot of songs lined up that's coming out. And first of all, I just want to get everybody to notice me in London, UK, and just move on international Africa, Spain, and just... Okay, yeah, so there. what is the next project? Next project is this song that i got called Persian. So Persian's the next one, yeah? Yeah, Persian's the next one. Okay, and what vibe is that? What vibe is that? That's... Mm, like Your sound. Hip-hop pop. Hip-hop pop, kind of. Mm. Like a mixture of the both. Mm -hmm. And it's about Persian girls, obviously, because not everyone bigs up the Persian girls. You've got to big up the Persian girls. That's my type. I like the Persian girls, though. Seriously? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Persians are my things, so yeah. Big my thing. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Interesting, man. <laughs> so so th that, that Persian look is, th is the look? Yes, 100%. That's my style, Persian. Persians are Moroccans, yeah. Top two. Serious? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, Moroccans are African, but, mm. they're, like, Arab African. Yeah, they're Arab African. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's my style. 100%, so that's why I put them on the song. Got I mean, we can definitely see that in Fine Girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, actually. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. And since since when have you had this taste? Since always, like, they're just scrumptious. Like, you look at them, like, you don't see much... Like, you see a beautiful girl, but girls like that, they're proper, take care of themselves, so you know the proper clean it's just they're better attracted to me not gonna lie it's my type <laughs> and when you say take care of themselves what do you mean like proper and, and because also also they're muslim as well it's not like they're mm. showing too much of skin mm. and i'm a very jealous jealous boyfriend so all the time my girlfriend she's muslim so she doesn't show you too much skin and i like that that just keep the sexiness for you at home kind of thing. yeah 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 Literally. Respect it, man. Uh -huh. I respect it, man. Well, it's good that you found your type. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hundred percent. Shouldn't go and know it. And when did you find your type then? What, like... This like, was in when 2016. Did you... High Park Link Up. There's a link up at High Park these times. A link up at High Park? Mm-hmm. There was, there was one time, I'm just being posted on his channel, um, page, like, everyone just to have some... Because it was summer these times. Oh, yeah, there used to be, like, there used to be Link Up in Hyde Park during yeah, the yeah, summer, yeah. on a mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it, like, there wasn't really much going on, but mm -hmm. people just go and sit down, because there wasn't even much music. Literally, you couldn't play it. Yeah. It's everywhere, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's where I met her. And these times I was single, though, so I was scoping the whole entire park, like... Yeah, park. and Hyde Park's so big, but you'd come to, like, groups... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I exactly, remember that. Exactly, I remember exactly. those link-ups, man. We used to fly them. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. lit, it was lit, it was lit. Was lit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next big one, obviously, is 420. That's yeah, the big link-up. Definitely hitting yeah, that 420. Have you, have you been in Hyde Park on 420 before? Uh, no, I haven't. Mad. Mm -hmm. Mad. And those times, because obviously, if you, you know, everyone's smoking weed in Hyde mm -hmm. Park, so, like... People cut, turn out with music is the least of their problems. <laughs> literally, you know, literally, being literally. It's, a free -for -all. Literally, it's like a little pre-game to carnival, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 420 is the next move. 100%. Uh, well, salute you on that. And then, obviously, you jumped on the Ill Blue, Chop My Money. Mm -hmm. uh, that was an all-style lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was almost like a, a remix, but it was the yeah, original yeah, yeah. song. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 literally, literally. It was best smart how they hear, how I heard them do it. And mm. I was like, wow, they proper changed it. But it sounds the same, but it proper works. Like, it sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds, mm -hmm. yeah, it sound, it sounds real good. Mm -hmm. So... The next project is Persian Girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Persian. the Persian Girls. Big up the Persian, shout out the Persians. Yeah, I mean, that's Persian something, things. you know, that's a, new, that's a new thing. I haven't paid attention to that mm -hmm. yet. You got, you got to trust me. They're the one, 100%. Okay, respect that. <laughs> and then what else comes after that? Persian. Mm. This track that I call, called Gazy. Gazy. Ga gazing. gazing. Yeah, Gazy, Gazy, Gazy. G -A -Z -I. Gazy. Z-I. Say that again. Gazy. Gazy. Yeah, Gazy. And what does that mean? Gazy means like... Uh, say someone's like, oh, 
you talk on a load of crap, this, this, that, man. And you're just like, I oh, love the gaze, like, stop talking nonsense mm. kind of thing. That's what it means, like nonsense. Okay, that's yeah. the next big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next yeah. Big one, 100%. Uh, and so th they're the two joints you're getting at Get Away. Mm. And then it, any thoughts of like an album or a mixtape? Or... Yeah, hopefully by the end of the year. Yeah. 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 Just making my name more stick and known in London for mm. me to be able to be like, boom, I've got an mm. album coming up and everybody be hyped about it. Mm. So you've got two hits about to hit mm. and then uh, we, we heard this joint different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be the third one. That'll okay. One coming up. Perfect, man. Mm -hmm. And where do you see the UK, man? Exciting times, man. <sighs> I see the UK. Exciting different times. Different type of place, different type of place. Because really, like realistically, I don't really listen to much UK music. Mm. I listen to only certain. But like what's going on now is proper good and proper... Proper exciting. Yeah, what proper do you normally exciting. listen to then? I listen to a lot of like American, Fr American and French type music. Okay. Mm -hmm. And like what, hip hop? Oh uh, yeah. Mm. Like the mumble rappers, mainly the mumble rappers really. Mm. And then mm. in France, a lot of other artists in France as well. Yo, d d d the, the French scene is incredible, it's man. Mad. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and not only the French Afro beats, but the French rap and lo like local French music. Mm-hmm. Like DJing in there was like a total shock oh, for me. Down. Yeah, I tore it down. But then, truthfully, I was on the set tearing it down. Mm -hmm. And normally the DJ on after me has a hard time. Okay, okay. Like he just took it to the next level and I felt ashamed. Oh, sure. Like because they came with their remixes they do. Mm -hmm. Like they like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, they like, they, like, like, yeah, they've got a different sound out there, man. Mm -hmm. uh, your drip is looking good. Of course, of course, you got to stay. The drip is literally dripping. I'm always dripping, man. Always yeah, man. Dripping. Respect that. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, man. That that looks like real nice. Where's that from over here? Settle gold. Yeah, settle gold. Shout them out, yeah. Okay. And did you go up there to get it done or? I DM them at first, like I drew a little picture of how I wanted it because I've always wanted, obviously. Because now I'm an established artist, I thought. Mm. Might as well wear my neck, my name on my neck. Yeah, man. So I DM them, I drew like a little picture of how I wanted it. They sent one. Sent like an animated one back, and I was like, "Yeah, I work with it." Then mm. made it for me. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your tat game like? What's my tat game. I've got quite a lot of tattoos. Can't really see the ones on my hands, but mm. the hands definitely hurt the most. I wouldn't recommend it unless you could find pain, but mm. a bit painful. For it. And uh, what, what sort of tats you got? Uh, a lot of black ink. A lot of black ink. Yeah. Other colours don't really show up on me. Not that dark, but they just don't show up on me. Mm. So I just get it black. Ink. And then what? You got full body tats? Uh, got one here on my neck. Mm. This one's a rose where it says family. And this one, I think this one says family. One of my chest, but definitely getting more tattoos, but no face tattoos now. Mm. It's not that thing. You're not, you're not ready for the face? Nah, not the face, nah. The face ain't necessary. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, originally from Congo. Uh-huh. Yeah, did, did, born there or? No, I wasn't born. I was born in London. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you go much home? I've never been, but I need to go. Definitely. Yeah, definitely need to go. Uh, shout out to all the Congolese, man. Shout out to all the Congolese. Uh, and you speak French? Yeah, I speak French. Mm. You speak any French? Nah, nah. Nah, nah. 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 <laughs> nah I'm dyslexic. Yeah, I'm dyslexic. Nah, I have trouble nah, with English. Same, I'm dyslexic as well. Yeah, I have trouble mm. with English, man. Same. Stressful still. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, well, we salute you, man. Uh, sure. Love the music you're making. Thank you. Um, where do you see Afro Wave going, man? Afro Wave definitely going to be a takeover. It's going to be definitely the summer sound for this year. And hopefully for many years to come. Mm. Definitely going to take over the same. Feels like the UK's coming to its own, man. Mm -hmm. Literally, everything's just uniting, everything's just working. Yeah. It's going smoothly. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And all love with it, the other artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's just doing their thing, Everybody's man. just doing their thing. And I think that's one of the positive, you know, the, the, the positive things which is contributing to the success of it, man. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how big it is, man. Exactly. It's, exactly. it's just not, it, it's not confined. Like when you first came out, you know, you had, you had that, like, the, you know, the Black Uni crowd. Mm -hmm. But now you look at these shows, man, and everyone is there. It's so crazy. Yeah. Um, many big shows coming up. Any festivals? Uh, I'm not sure about festivals yet, but I've been like getting quite a lot of shows. Shows are mm. a highlight of my life. They're very fun. Definitely love the shows. Is it? Mm -hmm. Means everything. Literally, everyone just singing back the lyrics that you know. Yeah. It's just and you've fun. definitely got anthems, man. Mm -hmm. 100%. Um, and the labels RCA. Yep. RCA, RCA records. Yep. That's who I'm with. Wavy label. Definitely mm. recommend it. If they shout, you <laughs> hit them up. Big man thing. Cold, cold label. Proper work with them. Uh, uh, handling your business, man. 100%. And obviously management's a big thing now. Mm -hmm. And that management is part of a, like, a studio complex, so it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything just fall into place mm. very well. Well, we salute you and it's well deserved. Mm -hmm. uh, and we love your talent, family. Thank you. Thank you, family. Appreciate Thanks for coming through, man. Thank you for having me. Tim Westwood TV.